Hey, it's February 24th, and this is The Raven Report. I'm Caroline, the host with the most, and let's kick it off with Club Corner. Hey Ravens, I'm Callie, and welcome back to Club Corner. Today we're gonna to be looking at Click Art Club and their super cool pinhole cameras. So in our Click Art Club, we've been making pinhole cameras, which is this is an example or a Pringles can. And so you point this hole to your subject, and then this paper will be on the inside and the light from the hole will reflect onto this paper and create a photo. So this is another example of our pinhole camera. You hold this towards your subject with your phone on this angle and then there's a hole on the side which will get capture the light kind of like the other one and take a photo. So some other stuff we've been doing in our Click Art Club is doing working on with film cameras. So right now I'm developing developing film that I took with a film camera. Um, I'm using a larger to make them bigger right now, and then I'll put them in these chemicals to have a larger photo of these. And we've just been working on some of that and other photography, and also so we've been working on some digital art. If you're interested in joining Click Art Club, we meet during seminar on Club Wednesdays in room 108. So if you're interested in photography and art, be sure to check out Click Art Club. See you next time. Thanks for that Club Corner. Now we want to remind you about student fees. Hey Ravens, did you know that there are classes at South that have fees attached to them for supplies, such as our art classes? Did you know that you can't walk at graduation until you've paid all of your fees? Did you know that you can pay all of these fees online through My School Bucks? Let's go check out how. Simply go to the South website and click on Community. Then click on Families and scroll down to My School Bucks. Scroll down to pay student fees through My School Bucks. If you don't have an account, you can create one here or you can log in if you already have an account. Once logged in, you can now pay all your fees. Make sure you stay up to date and have all your fees paid. If you have any questions, stop by the main office. That's all from me. See you next time, Ravens. As I'm sure you know, February is Black History Month. Last week, we took a look at Shirley Ann Jackson. This week, we have another important individual to look at. Hey Ravens, this week we're looking at another important figure in black history, Jesse Owens. Jesse Owens had a career as a professional track runner. His fame began in high school when he tied the 9.4 second 100 meter world record as a senior. He later went to run for Ohio State University where he set three world records and tied a fourth. At the 1936 Berlin Olympics, he was the first American ever to win four gold medals. Despite his outstanding performance, it is said that Hitler never shook Jesse's hand despite congratulating every other first place athlete. When returning home, he was never contacted or congratulated by President Roosevelt. It wasn't until 40 years later, in 1976, that President Ford brought Jesse to the White House to celebrate his accomplishments. Jesse Owens will always be remembered for his outstanding athletic ability and courage to compete in races where he was hated for his skin color. That's all from me, but next week we'll be back with another Spotlight from Black History Month. Thanks Ryan for that awesome insight on Jesse Owens. Now let's go to Grace with sports. Thanks Caroline for that okay beginning of the show. I'm here now with sports, I'm Grace, and let's go with hashtag raw. Our hashtag raw is Trinity Win. Trinity is one of our top leaders on the swim and dive team at South. 
She is extremely dedicated and supportive in all swim practices at, and at all swim meets. Her positive attitude is able to carry her and her teammates through the toughest races. Trinity is also an exemplary student scholar, and we are so proud of her accomplishments in the water and on dry land. Her leadership extends to various groups and organizations at South and is appreciated by many. We'll miss her next year. Congrats, Trinity, on being hashtag raw. Now let's have a recap on Friday Night Basketball. Unified had a basketball game. Let's go check it out. I am Eli Sobel. I'm Swipe to do it. I'm Frank Leone. I'm Zach Steinmetz. Uh, we played against um, North High School. Favorite part about being in Unified? Being in Unified is fun with friends or with Lucy, with my friends. Uh, my favorite part is probably just like seeing like all of them smile all the time. That's, it's, yeah, that, that's definitely my favorite part. Yeah, one of my favorite parts about the Unified Basketball game this past Friday was just basically having fun and just saying hi to some familiar faces around this school. Uh, my favorite part of uh, Unified is, um, well, uh, just having fun and playing uh, basketball and sports. One. Yep. <laughs> Thanks for watching. Good job, Unified. Euro Girls basketball team finished the regular season by going 10 and 1 and having an overall record of 16 wins and 7 losses. Since the last Raven Report, they have defeated Far Northeast 76-40, Lincoln 59-15, JFK 53-23, and North 63-20. With the end of the season here, we would like to honor the team's three seniors. Here's Coach Hotzik to talk about them. So we have uh, three seniors this year on our team. Uh, one of our seniors is our manager. She has been uh, part of the girls basketball program for the last three years, she came on as a sophomore and this year was our manager. And we got to suit her up for um, our senior game. So it was very um, fun to see that. Um, she's been a great help to all of us on the program, great support. Um, and it was just a good time to see her get to go into the game and get points as well. Um, and that's Juliana uh, Martinez. Uh, our next senior is Angel Juarez. Um, she's been a part of the program also for three years, first year on varsity. Um, Angel is a pleasure to have on, on the team. She's very supportive. She's always cheering her teammates on, even when she's out of the game. Um, you can always hear her. She's probably the loudest one on our team um, and always helpful, does what she needs to do, um, and get very supportive of the girls. So our last senior um, is Ashley Martinez. Um, she, this is her first year playing basketball and we are very glad that she stuck with the program and decided to come out. Uh, first time playing basketball and she has uh, been a big aspect on the team. Um, she's very soft spoken, but she's mighty in her all of her actions. Um, her leadership doesn't go unnoticed either. Um, she's definitely team leader um, on and off the court and is very supportive and sweet with um, everyone in the program. And. Um, that's all I would have to say, and good luck to all of the seniors in their future endeavors. Your Ravens are looking to make some noise in the playoffs this year. On Tuesday, the team played their first round playoff game against Westminster, which we won by a score of 60 to 49, which improves their record to 17 wins and seven losses. The leading player for this game was Nevaeh Millard, scoring 28 points for the win. The girls basketball team plays in the second round of playoffs against Chapel on Friday, 7 p.m. Support your team and wish them their continued successes.
Your varsity boys basketball team continues its winning streak, ending the season with eight straight wins, improving their record to 15 and seven, heading into the playoffs. Since the last Raven report, the team defeated Far North East 100 to 89, Lincoln 72 to 10, JFK 84 to 54, and North 77 to 57. We would like to congratulate our seniors that have played their last games as Ravens. Abigail Zweifel has been the team manager this year and proved to be invaluable. Abby is our first year manager, but a very, very important part of our team. Uh, she is a senior who uh, did play basketball uh, for the girls in the past, but decided to help us this year um, from a managerial standpoint. She really helps with uh, videoing the games, which is crucial for scouting and for assessment. So we are really, really happy and pleased with Abby, and we're really going to miss her, and we wish her luck in her future endeavors. Number two, Ty Brosh chips in with the scoring to help the team win and has been a solid contributor with assists and steals. Next senior is Ty Brash. Ty Brash has been in the program for four years. Um, I've been able to coach him for the past three years. It's been very fun to see his progression, his development, uh, not only on the basketball court, but obviously uh, physically as well. He is a 5.0 student, so he's a tremendous, tremendous student in the classroom. Will Sutherland has an average of 6.3 points per game this season, as well as being third on the team in rebounding. His presence in the paint will be missed. Next senior we have is Will Sutherland, who is a tremendous, tremendous character kind of guy. He represents everything that we hope a South Raven ba boys basketball player would be. He's a tremendous student, tremendous athlete. He also participates and volunteers with the unified class. Uh, I can't wait to see what the future holds for this young man, and I know he's going to have a tremendous, tremendous college experience. So uh, he's going to be dearly missed, but he's been greatly appreciated. Number two, Gage Anderson has averaged 6.1 points per game this year and also contributes in all aspects of the game. Next senior I'd like to talk about is Gage Anderson. He is a second year letterman, um, transferred from Wyoming two years ago, brings tremendous athleticism. Um, I love his attitude on a daily basis. His attitude is infectious. Many times he can pick up a practice or a game and take it in a positive direction. So that's a testament to his leadership and to his character. So Gage will be competing in track and field in college and I'm sure he's gonna do well. Number 25, Isaiah Ward's leadership will be missed in the future. He has contributed in any way that he is asked to. Great job, Isaiah, in your final year on Raven Court. So the next person I'd like to share is Isaiah Ward, who's a senior, uh, first year on varsity. Tremendous, tremendous part of our team. Um, very committed, very dedicated, never misses practice, always there and always ready if he's called upon. Last night specifically when he was uh, called upon to enter the J JFK game. He brought tremendous energy and helped us go on a crucial run towards the end of the fourth period. Number 32, Coach Kajiza has been a varsity starter for the past few years. Coach is the team leader in rebounding with 10.2 boards per game, as well as block shots at an average of 1.2 per game. So next I'd like to talk about Kush Kojiza, who's a three-year letterman, four years in the program. Very athletic. He's developed and evolved over the course of the last three years, um, and he's really, really playing his best basketball right now, and he's a big part of this 8-0 run that we're, we, we've been on. So, uh, Kush, great job, and, and keep it going. These seniors will be surely missed for their leadership and teamwork. Good luck to the team as they head into the playoffs. Our wrestling teams had city meet a couple weeks ago and this past weekend had regionals. Let's learn more. Hey Ravens, I'm Sean here with a season ending report of the wrestling team. At the league tournament, we had six champions and six placers, and we took second place for the girls and fifth for the boys. The loudest win of the day was CJ's final match against East, when he was down 2-1 and escaped from bottom before pinning his opponent with a Gator roll midway through the second period. At regionals, Kree Moo qualified for states for the girls team and CJ Morm qualified for the boys team. Daniel James also qualified for states in the Unified Wrestling. 
States was held at the Ball Arena and brought wrestlers from all over Colorado. Ladies and gentlemen, please welcome student athletes representing Unified Wrestlers. Yeah! Congrats also to Daniel James for being the Unified Finalist. Daniel will be missed as he graduates this year. Also, congratulations go out to Kree Moo for being top eight in the state. Kree is also a senior and completes an amazing four years wrestling for South. Yeah, so Kree, you know, in a very short career, went to states three times, um, including her first year wrestling, um, and then taking sixth in state last year, top eight this year. It's gonna be hard to match that for, uh, for girls who are coming up in the program, but you know, it's a great model to have. And a big shout out to CJ for placing fifth in the state and meddling. CJ battled back to win his second match of the day in the second day of states and was able to move on to the final day. You showed incredible toughness and determination in an incredibly tough tournament. We can't wait to see what you do next year. Yeah, we're just so thankful. CJ is only a junior this year. Um, so obviously a super successful kid. Um, one of the toughest kids I've ever met. Just, uh, I start shaking in the match because I'm nervous. I can't imagine what's going through his mind and he's wrestling those matches. Uh, but he just showed a lot of heart, a lot of grit, uh, winning a lot of really, really tough uh, close matches at the state tournament to, to podium this year and he's just one step closer to his goal of uh, becoming a state champ next year and you know it's super uh, really within reach. We're proud of all the accomplishments that you guys had on the mats. Now back to Grace at the sports desk. Congrats to our wrestlers for a spectacular season. Now let's see how the state meet went for the swim team. Staying with the theme of showing our appreciation to our seniors of winter sports, here are all the swimmers we are going to miss now that their season is over. Trinity Wynn, Grace McClung, Cole Buran, Abigail Cunningham, Sawyer Fenton, Haley Ekstrand, Marlana Stitz, and Brady Allison. Thanks for the dedication you've shown to with the South Swim Program. Good luck on your future endeavors. The Raven Report would also like to congratulate the seniors from the cheer team that will be making it a career. Um, I just wanted to take a moment to thank Tanya and Tayana for all they have done and contributed to the South Cheer Program. Tanya has been with us all four years and it's just been wonderful to see her grow into such an incredibly talented cheerleader. And Tayana is just gifted in a lot of different ways and so she brought a lot of strength and leadership to the program these past two years. So just want to wish you the best of luck next year in all your endeavors. And just remember you always have a place back home when you want to come visit. Thanks to both Tayana and Tanya for giving it all, your all for South Spirit. Our climbing team is back in action, climbing up the walls like Spider-Man. What's up Ravens? Did you know our South climbing team had their last competition of the season on Saturday? Well, here's a brief rundown on how it went. Abby and Sophia had a great competition and have been excelling all season. Their hard work and discipline has been paying off, and their enthusiasm is very contagious. The pair of freshman girls are in the running to qualify for state after only starting climbing three months ago. During last Saturday's competition, the last one of the season, despite being down a significant amount of climbers, the team battled and placed third in both boys and girls. For the boys, Gavin McKenzie placed sixth and Jack Dawson placed ninth. And for the girls, Emily Merwin Oak placed ninth. I'm here with senior Cody Wintler. How did your senior rock climbing season go? Uh, it went good. It was fun to climb with everybody and have a good last year. How did you and your team improve as the season went on? Uh, I think we got closer as the season went on and we kind of learned how to train and start climbing more. Thank you, Cody. Climbing regionals happened on the 13th. Over 300 climbers competed for a spot at state. South made an impressive finish, getting second overall for both boys and girls. Our varsity state qualifiers for the boys were Gavin McKenzie, Kai Markley, and Jack Dawson. 
And for the girls, we had five. Casey Callen, Reese Schmidt, Abby Hoschler, Emily Merwin Olk, and Sophie Diaz. Congrats, Ravens. The state championship is on the 26th. We'll have more climbing updates soon. Congrats, climbing team. We're proud of you. Now, we want you to join a spring sport. The spring sport season starts February 28th, so make sure you register before the 24th. Spring sports include girls golf, girls tennis, track and field, boys and girls lacrosse, boys swim and dive, and baseball. Make sure you have an up-to-date physical and go see Ms. Hodzik in the athletic office if you have any questions. We want you to join a spring sport. Sadly, this is the last of me, but back to Carolina at desk. Thanks, Grace, for that slightly below average sports report. Now let's head into Teacher Throwback Thursday. Welcome to Teacher Throwback Thursday. This teacher has been to 25 different countries. This teacher was all superior Northern California running back. Did you guess it yet? He was the only person to win the New York All-State Owl Hooting Championship three years in a row. This teacher lived in Alaska for four years. His favorite football team is the Ravens. Did you guess it yet? This teacher was selected to play in the 1985 Lions Club All-Star Game for football. And the teacher of the week is Mr. Larson. Larson for that TTT. Now, do you want to be in your yearbook next year? Go to room 221 and ask Ms. Sullivan any questions. Do it. Now, do you want to hear a cool story about MedConnect? Hey Ravens, last week some of our South students were featured in an article by Colorado Sun. The article highlighted Samantha Rudnick and Paul Wilson. The article emphasizes the importance of basic health knowledge and the advantages of taking a health science course in high school. Samantha Rudnick aspires to be an emergency medical technician in a national park due to her love for the outdoors. Similarly, Paul Wilson hopes to become a pediatrician. Thanks to the South Health Science class, along with industry partners, both students have a big head start. Um, what made you decide to join the health science class here at South? Um, I kind of was interested in the field, and I was a freshman and I just wanted to kind of try something new, so I took it and then I ended up taking my three years of it, so that's how I ended up here. Being in a health science class teaches you many things, like checking blood pressure, doing CPR, and earning your EMT certification, and more. The most useful tool for this class is probably learning vital signs, because that makes us, uh, if we go into nursing or any other profession, uh, I want to be a pediatrician, and you have to take a lot of vital signs during that. And that just uh, gives me a head start knowing what to do. If you're interested in being a part of the medical field, make sure you join South MedConnect program. Now back to Carolina Desk. Thanks, Bella and Ava, for that MedConnect update. It's awesome that we have a program like that here at South. Now, if you need a bus pass, they are distributed the last two days of every month in the senior hallway at lunch. We want you to join Culture Fest. The Culture Fest will air on March 24th. We need actors, actresses, performers, dancers, singers, poets, hosts, and musicians. If you're interested, scan the code on the screen. 
If you have questions, you can contact Ms. Barrow, Ms. Harper, and Mr. Rosenlick. Make sure you join Culture Fest. Do it. Giving groceries today will be in room 141 after school. Now, to finish it off, let's check out some fun videos from my fellow Raven reporters. Cause my 